Today I'm going to show you how to paint the three boys going boating. In Joinga is a global artist community that I created five years ago, supported by our members. In our learning center, we have more than 1,200 full learning lessons, including the full process of the painting you are about to watch. And we just improve our learning center with one click reference download feature. You can stop your membership at any time. I'm waiting for you to join us today. Now let's start today's painting. Okay, I'm going to start from putting the colors in the sky and the water. I'm going to wet the paper first this time. I'm going to wet around the white cloud. And also the bird, I'm going to leave it a little bit, have a little bit light shape on the body. Wet the area around the boat. Now I'm going to start taking, just taking the uh, Windsor Blue green shade. Okay, I'm making sure the color get into my brush a little bit more evenly. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more water. Okay, now I'm going to start from the sky. That's good. And now go through this boat. Because the water I put onto uh, the paper first, it helped to make the applications much smoother. Okay. Okay, like that. That's pretty good. And the shadow side is okay if you have some blue color into the shadow side. And I'll just go a little bit faster. You see that this brush, you can do that very, very tiny, tiny. Okay, that's okay. If the pen has some color, that is okay too. I'm going to come on this side. Take a look. Don't get the color into the face. Okay, that's good. Now I'm coming over here for this boy. And going around on the top, that's good. There you go. That needs to be a little bit lighter. There we go. We almost finished the first one. A little bit yellow. And take a little bit more red. And that's the color for the beach. Maybe a little bit wet. If you want to be a little bit warmer, you can go a little bit more. No, that's good. This is get a little bit more yellow on the back over there. Here you go. I'm going to have a little bit color like this. That's good. So I have a little bit soft shape. Look like there's something over there. This is good. Okay, now we are going to start painting from the background. In the background area, we're going to try to keep it look a little bit flat. Almost like a gray color. I'm going to take this a little gray color. That's good enough. So I'm going to start from here. And if you like trees and go into the learning center, into the uh, landscape library, you can see them. So I'm going to have a little, the brush a little dry. This is fine. And then I'm going to have this a little bit like up. Okay, like that. And I'm going to have a little bit blue color and Maybe a little bit. This one is pretty close. So I'm going to take this blue color. Take a look. And right here. Put this shape. That's good. Like that. Okay. We give enough shape in the background. Now we're gonna come back over here, start to give a little big suggestions for the bright wooden bows. I'm gonna have a little bit yellow and get a little red. That is a bright orange color. So let's take a look. Watch. And that's just painting around over here. This brush is very good in terms of what kind of shape that you want. Sometimes you want the shape to be open up, it can stay open. 
but this brush can easily come back in shape automatically so you don't have to work too hard uh, now I'm gonna mix some colors very bright I'm gonna take the yellow color because this is a very close to us okay take a little bit water a little bit more yellow that's good now this is a very bright color and here you go and earlier when we paint the edge we and clean the water uh, we already have quite a bit of blue into the boat and we tried not to introduce too much blue into here uh, here you go and take a look we're gonna leave the area to be a little light that a little bit edge over there now we're gonna also work out the a little transition just use the water and softly connect that to be a little very shiny area okay I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color just a little red and put a little blue color into it and that is the color we need right you may be thinking about that oh my god I need more colors no you don't you only need three colors and maximum four color with uh, including a, a red shade uh, blue color and that's all you need to mix any color you need for your paintings I'm gonna come over here and look at the gap over here and then on this side I'm gonna paint around the legs so it make the leg a little bit more convincing at the end take a look at here and like that that's the reflection there's a little bit water and I'm gonna come in over here like that you see that that's beautiful make a little bit moving a little bit so make it look like feel like water have a little line you can just uh, one brush from here to there coming over here why don't I paint it in the shadow area so I'm gonna add the color to the light side a little bit later so I'm gonna tap to make the eye here there's a little shadow and take a look at that the face the nose over here the head see that coming right here and this side has a little bit orange color that's showing the ear that's actually pretty good that's good right there and the head that's good enough for the head now take a look at the same thing on the shadow side of the shirt have a little bit just the blue color take a look at the shade and that's the shoulder that's the arm actually coming over here and looking for the shape look first okay you don't want to overdo it and this just the light color we're gonna put the shadow color a little bit darker okay that's good making sure a little dark enough so that it separate from the water Paint the shadow color of the uh, legs just like this good and coming on this side we can paint the shadow and then paint the light side a little bit later like this that's good coming all the way over here that's good right I'm going on this side I think I have a little bit more red color in here okay that's good that take a look at the between the shadow and the and the light like that coming down over here and see a little shadow on this side like okay I think this looks pretty good a little catch the shadow under here and I'm gonna add that little red color in here that's good so even though it's similar color to the boat, you can see the, see the separation because you painted two different time, right? On the other side, if you want, you, we can make it a little bit darker a little bit later. Now this already drives, so I'm gonna set a little color to the arm. Over here, take a look at, from here, take a look at the arm. 
there you go come out over here and then we're gonna paint the darker color for the catch the shadow on the arm like that that's good now we come back here this ready I paint the light color on the skin over here and here you go and then after this drive I'm gonna come back to uh, paint the pants and then the leg and uh, we can paint the leg if we want I'm gonna just paint the make the red with the a little blue color together now take a look and start over here here you go just look for the shape don't think it's a leg look at that how big is the shape and with the shape moving it's good coming over here here you go now it's the bottom of the leg the foot right here that's beautiful you see that if you focus on the shape don't think it's the object don't think it's a oh it's a leg i'm gonna make it look like a leg and then you automatically connect with how other people do their legs but however they are using different reference they're painting different people you cannot just move the look of the other leg into here right you just have to focus on there's no shortcut other than observation and that is good now i'm going to paint in this boy at the front over here i'm going to have a little bit more yellow color for the hair like that on the top over here right here that's good this is a good color so lots of things in the painting you need to describe and i can think for now the painting is finished